Look at this. We got something. We got something. Gorgeous day today. Might rain later on, but I'll see how long, long I can stay here. One of the few times I have this whole pier to myself. No name for it, it's all broken up, so we call it Broken Pier. Aloha YouTubers, I'm over here at the entrance to Pearl Harbor. So we, we have a pretty tall pier over here. I'm gonna use my net to uh, scoop whatever fish I'm gonna get. Now this net is fairly long, it's maybe about a four, four and a half foot handle, but this also has an extension. So we push the button in, one click. Push the button in, two clicks. Now we have roughly about a eight eight and a half foot long handle but that only works over here at high tide so how else are we going to do this um there is a way to extend this uh let me show you what i use i bought this at walmart for like maybe six dollars um and a, it, that's for the the rope with the um hanger i bought two binder clips that are rated at 150 pounds and those were like about maybe $3 for the pair also at Walmart. So what I normally do, okay, untwirl this, clip it there. Now, what I'm, what I'm gonna do is, okay, bring it up to about here on the handle. Notice I haven't taken off the line yet. I'm just gonna, right here where the rubber handle meets the, the, the shaft, I'm gonna make two half hitch. Make one. Make two. That's it. And then I'm gonna twirl. This is 100 feet, by the way. So I'm gonna take off about 30 feet and um, that's all you're gonna need. And this end here has a clip on it so I can clip this to one of the trees over here or anything else I wanna clip it off to. Now, sometimes this will work just like what I showed you, but I found that for, for areas such as this where the wind might be kinda high, I'm going to use uh, about a six inch long mono leader with a, this has a seven ounce lead at it at the bottom. So what I, what I normally do is I'm gonna loop it through the very bottom section, roughly around here, it's gonna move around. And I got two loop knots here. So I can take it off and on whenever I need to. That's it. So what's gonna happen is this will cause the net to hang low in the water column so I can go down and scoop it. Now, oh, I got a plane going over here. Sorry about that. So what's the advantage when... So what's the advantage of doing all this? Um, isn't it easier if I use a long handle uh, uh, gaff? Yes and no. Most of the time, I catch undesirable species like balloon fish, porcupine fish, um, other things like maybe undersized jacks that I don't want and I want to release them safely. So I don't use a, a gaff, a portable gaff. You can if you want, if you're targeting certain species, if you know your areas and that's what you get. But over here, I'm not going to do that. I want a way to release the fish when I'm catching something I don't want. And normally here, I release roughly 80 to 90% of my catch. So this is what I use. It works for me. Um, everybody else has their own system, but this system works great for me. Thanks guys.
Okay, this is my pier slash um, wharf system for bringing in fish. So let's see now. Notice that the uh, the weight will keep it there. Wow, look at that. that. Let's say that mangrove is a fish. Scoop it up. See, this one's not too bad. It's high tide right now. I can just use the handle. But if I had to, I can just use the rope. Bingo. Pretty good system, I think. I mean, it works for me. Everybody has their own system, but this works for me.